actually live here in Jackson Heights. Today, I'm very proud to be part of this wonderful movement, the third Trans Latina March, and to be proudly a Trans Latina woman. Siendo, being part of the community LGBTQ, I feel um, at times afraid and insecure to, work in the, to walk in the streets of my neighborhood because we're very often um, sort of persecuted by the people um, in our communities and by the people who are supposed to protect us, the police of New York. About six months ago, I, um, I went out with a friend to go dancing, like any young person. Um, and after having a really fun time, we went out to a bar. Uh, we went out from the bar and we uh, went towards Dunkin' Donuts, which is located in 82nd and Roosevelt Avenue. I was drinking a coffee when I saw this white man who was calling me, um, and I said no, and then he left. And then when I came out of the place, he was talking to my friend. My friend was talking to this guy. I got closer and we started to talk. At no moment did he all, um, did we talk about price or sex. Um, and he offered to give us a ride back to our home. We, uh, we obviously said yes, and we walked towards his car. And out of nowhere, the police came out and they um, arrested us without any just for cause and without having any proof. They put us in a van, um, they filled up the van, like almost every time that it happens, and then we went and saw a judge. The whole day we were arrested, and our lawyer said that they were charging us for promoting sex. My lawyer suggested um, that I should uh, plead guilty of this charge so that I can get out of the prison the, day, the same day. Um, and I did it because I was, uh, at, and I was worried about risking my migration status. This is why I, I am asking for um, police arrest where they're profiling community members um, and where they're putting us with false records uh, to stop because then they're gonna prohibit us from one day like reaching our dream which is to have uh, immigrant status and then after that she said you know I work on the streets a lot of women are forced to work on the streets and because of that um, we shouldn't be profiled and arrested we should be able to live in the community like any other person um, lives here we also deserve those rights Thank you.